Universal Disk Format is a profile of the specification known as ISO IEC 13346 and ECMA 167 and is an open vendor neutral file system for computer data storage for a broad range of media. In practice, it has been most widely used for DVDs and newer optical disk formats, supplanting ISO 9660. Due to its design, it is very well suited for incremental updates on both recordable and writable optical media. UDF is developed and maintained by the Optical Storage Technology Association. Normally, authoring software will master a UDF file system in a batch process and write it to optical media in a single pass. But when packet writing to rewritable media, such as CDRW, UDF allows files to be created, deleted and changed on disk just as a general purpose file system would on removable media like floppy disks and flash drives. This is also possible on write once media, such as CDR, but in that case the space occupied by the deleted files cannot be reclaimed. Multi-session mastering is also possible in UDF, though some implementations may be unable to read disks with multiple sessions. History the Optical Storage Technology Association standardized the UDF file system to form a common file system for all optical media, both for read-only media and for rewritable optical media. When first standardized, the UDF file system aimed to replace ISO 9660, allowing support for both read-only and writable media. After the release of the first version of UDF, the DVD consortium adopted it as the official file system for DVD video and DVD audio. Equals revisions equals, multiple revisions of UDF have been released, revision 1.02. This format is used by DVD video discs. Revision 1.50. Added support for rewritability on CDR DVDR media by introducing the VAT structure. Added sparing tables for defect management on rewritable media such as CDRW, and DVDRW and DVD plus RW. Revision 2.00. Added support for stream files and real time files and simplified directory management. VAT support was extended. Revision 2.01 is mainly a bug fix release to UDF 2.00. Many of the UDF standards ambiguities were resolved in version 2.01. Revision 2.50. Added the metadata partition facilitating metadata clustering, easier crash recovery and optional duplication of file system information, all metadata-like nodes and directory contents are written on a separate partition which can optionally be mirrored. This format is used by some versions of Blu-ray discs. Revision 2.60. Added pseudo overwrite method for drives supporting pseudo overwrite capability on sequentially recordable media. Specifications The UDF standard defines three file system variations, called builds. These are plain. This is the original format supported in all UDF revisions, virtual allocation table aka VAT. Used specifically for writing to CDR and media, spared. Used specifically for writing to CDRW and DVDRW media. Equals plain build equals, introduced in the first version of the standard, this format can be used on any type of disk that allows random read-write access, such as hard disks, DVD plus RW and DVD RAM media. Similarly to other common file system formats, such as FAT, Directory entries point directly to the block or sector numbers of their file contents. In writing to such a disk in this format, any physical block on the disk may be chosen for allocation of new or updated files. Since this is the basic format, practically any operating system or file system driver claiming support for UDF should be able to read this format. Equals VAT build equals Write once media such as DVD-R and CD-R have limitations when being written to, in that each physical block can only be written to once, and the writing must happen incrementally. Thus the plain build of UDF can only be written to CDRS by pre-mastering the data and then writing all data in one piece to the media, similar to the way an ISO 9660 file system gets written to CD media. To enable a CD-R to be used virtually like a hard disk, 
whereby the user can add and modify files on a CD or at will. OSTA added the VAT build to the UDF standard in its revision 1.5. The VAT is an additional structure on the disk that allows packet writing. That is, remapping physical blocks when files or other data on the disk are modified or deleted. For write once media, the entire disk is virtualized, making the write once nature transparent for the user. The disk can be treated the same way one would treat a rewritable disk. The write once nature of CD or DVD or media means that when a file is deleted on the disk, the file's data still remains on the disk. It does not appear in the directory anymore, but it still occupies the original space where it was stored. Eventually, after using this scheme for some time, the disk will be full, as free space cannot be recovered by deleting files. Special tools can be used to access the previous state of the disk, making recovery possible. Not all drives fully implement version 1.5 or higher of the UDF, and some may therefore be unable to handle VAT builds. Equals spare build equals, rewritable media such as DVD-RW and CD-RW have fewer limitations than DVD-R and CD-R media. Sectors can be rewritten at random. These media can be erased entirely at any time, making the disk blank again ready for writing a new UDF or other file system to it. However, sectors of RW media may wear out after a while, meaning that their data becomes unreliable, through having been rewritten too often. The plain and VAT builds of the UDF format can be used on rewritable media, with some limitations. If the plain build is used on an RW media, file system level modification of the data must not be allowed as this would quickly wear out often used sectors on the disk, which would then go unnoticed and lead to data loss. To allow modification of files on the disk, rewritable disks can be used like our media using the VAT build. This ensures that all blocks get written only once, ensuring that there are no blocks that get rewritten more often than others. This way, an RW disk can be erased and reused many times before it should become unreliable. However, it will eventually become unreliable with no easy way of detecting it. When using the VAT build, CDRW DVDRW media effectively appears as CD or DVD plus slash R media to the computer. However, the media may be erased again at any time. The spare build was added in revision 1.5 to add as the particularities of rewritable media. This build adds an extra sparing table in order to manage the defects that will eventually occur on parts of the disk that have been rewritten too many times. This table keeps track of worn out sectors and remaps them to working ones. UDF defect management does not apply to systems that already implement another form of defect management, such as Mount Rainier for optical disks, or a disk controller for a hard drive. The tools and drives that do not fully support revision 1.5 of UDF will ignore the sparing table, which would lead them to read the outdated worn-out sectors, leading to retrieval of corrupted data. Character set, the specification allows for nine character encodings, one by agreement, one specified by ECMA6, three subsets of ASCII, a subset of ECMA94, and various other graphical characters. Compatibility. Many DVD players do not support any UDF revision other than version 1.02. Discs created with a newer revision may still work in these players if the ISO 9660 bridge format is used. Even if an operating system claims to be able to read UDF 1.50, it still may only support the plain build and not necessarily either the VAT or spared UDF builds. Mac OS X 10.4.5 claims to support revision 1.50, yet it can only mount disks of the plain build properly and provides no virtualization support at all. It cannot mount UDF disks with VAT, as seen with the Sony Mavic Air issue. Releases before 10.4.11 mount disks with sparing table but does not read its files correctly. Version 10.4.11 fixes this problem. Similarly, Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 2 cannot read DVD RW disks that use the UDF 2.00 sparing tables as a defect management system. 
This problem occurs if the UDF defect management system creates a sparing table that spans more than one sector on the DVD RW disk. Windows XP SP2 can recognize that a DVD is using UDF, but Windows Explorer displays the contents of a DVD as an empty folder. A hotfix is available for this and is included in Service Pack 3. See also, Comparison of File Systems, DVD Authoring, ISO IEC 13490. References Further reading, ISO IEC 13346 Standard, also known as ECMA 167. External links, OSTA homepage, Wang Guang Wang's UDF Introduction, Linux UDF Support, Microsoft Windows UDF Read Troubleshooting, UDF Revision 2.60 March 1, 2005, AIX, CD-ROM File System and UDFS.